Hello, I'm Russell Brand. And I'm Laura Brand. And we're here for Hope From Home on World Health Day. What are we going to do, Laura, as our contribution to this? I'm going to show Russell and you how to make squishy soap. Just to be clear, is that literally soap that's squishy? It is exactly that. If you can imagine Play-Doh that can go in water and cleans your hands. So it's sort of like a hygienic type of Play-Doh. That's right. We got kids ourselves and uh, whilst we recognise there's a sort of a real scale of hierarchies in terms of what kind of house you might be locked up in and our house is not a bad house to be locked up in. We do still have children so there's, you know, people don't talk about the amount of misery, pain <laughs> and anguish that children bring and this is just one way of distracting us and them from that, isn't it? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Come on, it's then. Perfect. Right, so, Russell, you're going to do it. Well, show me what to do. So we're going to put in a half cup of corn flour. Oh, that, what, when all the starvation in the world? The whole lot, yeah. You the don't whole care lot about the there. starvation in the world? Of course I care about so the starvation like in the world. Corn but flour. corn flour, I've decided, is pretty... Uh, it's only for gravy, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we're going to put in, actually, wait. Is that next? Hold up. We're going to put in four tablespoons. I pre-measured it because just to make it easy for Don't him. Don't gesture at me like <laughs> a <laughs> person that can't be trusted. Although he did bake off. Um, <laughs> yeah, four tablespoons of liquid soap. That can be, um, that could even be washing up liquid to be fair. Probably right, could just be washing skin. up liquid. Yeah, you can. Now what? Um, now there's a spoon over there. Yeah. We're going to give that a little stir. Oh, you stir it at yeah, each face. Exactly. So stir it at each And at the end of this, we'll have squishy soap, which I suppose That's is right. useful because it's like encouraging... It, I think kids find it, it's sort of messy, it's pl it's fun. And would, you let, would our child be doing yeah, this Yeah, they would be doing this bit. Which one of them? Mabel. No, I wouldn't trust her. <laughs> a three-year-old. Also... A month-old might eat it. Possibly um, as well. Say your child might grow up to be a drug dealer, say. This will help them in the meth lab or if they... Say they want to make their own crack when oh they're older. Oh my God. This right. is going to help them. Okay, up. moving swiftly on. Four teaspoons of cooking oil. We're using olive oil, but you can use sunflower oil. I'll hold that. What okay. is this? Uh, that is cooking oil. Just pour that in. Pour that in. How much? All of it. I no, mean, how much is it? <laughs> four... It's I'm not going to drip it out. I'm not going to ration it. Time's on that hard. It's four teaspoons. Four teaspoons of cooking oil. Now what? Just mix it again. Mix it again? Yeah. Do you see it starting? What? what how would you describe I'll that? I'll describe it as a sort of a congealing and hideous mess. Yeah. Well, it's starting to sort of... I mean, at the moment, it's already not edible. Before you mix it too much, we're going to put a drop of food colouring. What colour would you like? this? blue, red, or a little bit of each? I don't know about blue and red mixing because, firstly, that's Might sort go. of like making a mockery of democracy and oh. the divisions we hold dear between blue and red parties, which are vastly different, as all of you know. Okay, so, which, which uh, colour? Red. Red, okay. There we go. So, I'm going to fill the little cap up. We don't, we don't need loads, so we're going to go... There we go. Just a pipette for drop, drop it in. Pipette. I mean, I don't imagine everyone has a pipette. What to do about a pipette? <laughs> yeah, you know okay. when you suck petrol out of a car, oh my God. like that? Oh, you could do like that. No, I'd just say like a, not even a, a teaspoon. Yeah, mix, mix, mix. Just a teaspoon if you yeah. don't have. Russell, do you know there are I'm some gonna... people in Britain today who don't even have their own pipette? <laughs> <laughs> That's was, how hard it's got. I would got. say half a teaspoon of food colouring. Right, mm. Russell, I'm going to say you should have Oh, yeah. I need my hands. In fact, we all say there's a few dregs here. Let's get all the drinks. There's there's no no wastage in a mm. squishy soap. When does water go in? Never. Water never goes in, except for when you're oh, you're going to be made. Just put on me. Uh, <laughs> As you know, I'm a very hygienic <laughs> man. So now give it a really good mix around. Should it be that everything in this bowl is part of the just central mass by the end of this? Yes, that's right. It should all be a central mass. You're gonna to have to really mix it together. Do you really think I need to put more energy into it? I do. Why don't you take over for right, a bit? Okay, so that it looks better by the end product. Look at that. Look at the professionalism. Now what I'm guessing here is because I think we may have added the 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 pipette has thrown us a bit. Why? And it's, it's not giving us enough. It's not possibly not giving us enough, but what we're gonna have is a very marbled effect. Oh, we can. No one wants a marbled, squishy soap. That sounds awful. No, we just need to give it a bit more. This looks like um, a lamb's heart. No. It's like a springtime exercise. Like oh, it's like awful. <laughs> oh, no, you can't recommend this. This is for World no. Health Day. Okay, no, do you know this what I'm This is to help suggest? frontline heroes who are giving their life. I'm going to suggest we're getting it out. We're putting it on the table. Is this. This is a work table. We okay with it going on the work no, table? No, this is a, oh, I can do my podcast from here under the screen. I want this kept. <laughs> it's going. Neat and immaculate. <laughs> there it is. Right. 
Now, really squish it together. I'm going to get it to a point. I might even stand up at this point. Go on, do what you want. Express yourself. Because what we're going to do is we're trying to... While you're needing that, I'll talk about some of the complexities that are facing us during the coronavirus. You just do that, for God's sake, woman, if you don't mind. <laughs> just crack on with it. Okay. Um, well, you know, it makes me think we need to radically reorganise society. I mean, like, you know, we've been confronted with inequality, suffering, poverty. Although, you know, for people that are not directly medically affected or financially affected, it's a time for reflection and going in and let's face it, craft. But it does expose, again, the inequality at the heart of our city. Have you finished that yet? <laughs> Just killing time. I don't care about any of that. All right. OK, well, look, this is what we've got. Keep going. Do a little bit more, Russell, because you've got the... You've got Big hot hands. There you go. That's the sort of thing now that look, keeps our marriage it's together. Starting to really look at the colour. It's mixing. So right. we started off what looked very marbly and like it wasn't going to work out. What but actually, say? yes, it's we've got a delightful light pink soap here. Fantastic. Well, so now, and this could be used. Yeah. When we're trying to encourage our children to wash their wash hands, their hands. they should be doing all the time, also, should they, even if there's not a pandemic. Of course, washing hands is very really important, but this does particularly encourage it. Now, I had pre-prepared a bowl of warm water. So, yeah. Russell, I'm going to break it in half because we can both have a go. There we go. And also, if you're going to use it, I would say um, break little bits off to use and store the rest in an airtight container or jar with a lid then it'll last for ages. I don't have an airtight container on my body that <laughs> I can use to store squishy soap in. <laughs> right, go for it. Or now, just use it. Yeah, now use it. Rub it in, like, really wash your hands with it. Just as you would wash your hands in a conventional, I've just come back from the trip to Sainsbury's, the odd dystopian two metres apart experience. And I've got to wash my hands. Look at that. Fantastic stuff. And then if you put it... It would be Waitrose, not Sainsbury's. <laughs> Could go to Tesco's, they're all the same. Was it matter now? It's all falling apart, isn't it? Yo, this is fantastic. Yeah. Squishy soap. I'll yeah, hold actually, this. this works brilliantly, that wash all, wash all the uh, colour off now, your hands. Now, what do you say to your detractors that say that this leaves a hideous stain? That doesn't. Get into the <laughs> nail. <laughs> Uh -huh. Get into the nail, and then I'm I'm already waiting with a towel. This That's is how lovely. this is how you treat your toddlers. This is what I expect of the parents who are doing this with kids. But you are. So then. there we go. Squishy soap. Now, um, hold on, there's some administrative obligations that I have. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to frontline workers and medical teams serving for us all. It actually says fighting there, but I'm not going to go with that militaristic metaphorical language. I'm going to say serving for us all. If you want to donate, that would be great. Just go to Hope from Home Tiltify. Dot com. Have you ever heard of Tiltify.com before? Thanks very much for this opportunity for us Thank to you. do some crafts. Yeah, and genuinely well done everyone that is working on the Thanks front line. Thanks so much. Thank you, everybody. Right, cheers. Jesus! <laughs>